Yes, your eyes are correct. That is indeed a man on that stripper's pole. But it's not what you think. It's a new trend taking Chicago and America by storm. You can call it bodybuilding with a twist. So I just happened to play on a pole one day and it was just like, okay, I can do this. I got upper strength. Let me try to pull up. And from that point, I took it and just ran with it. Mm -hmm. Joel Burns is a pole dance instructor at the Good Girl Studio in Bridgeport. He claims to be the first male pole dance instructor in Chicago. Good Girl joins an emerging movement of male pole dancers both here in Chicago and across the country. At first, many studios Burns went to told him to take a hike. Maybe it's something different. They haven't heard of it or think that guys basically would I guess try to pull or learn any tricks or stunts with it. So, so. when Joel had called and he was looking for a, a place to, um, to work out and to um, take the pole classes and he had expressed to me that other places had said no, of course the girl is going to say yes. So we're very open to um, doing things that are different. We don't like being ordinary, we like being extraordinary. Lita Ladea, who's the co-owner of the Good Girl Studios, says despite some of the stereotypes that exist, the feedback on Joelle's classes have been positive. Because you have to be in tip-top physical condition to go all the way to the top of that pole mm -hmm. and to balance yourself and all of that. So, I mean, when you look at other athletes and the things that they do, it's just a form of mm -hmm. um, being an athlete. Mm -hmm. Women just like, oh my God, that's sexy, that's hot. And I have my own style to it. So I've been actually getting good feedback, even from all like my, my bros and it was everything. It's like, oh, that's cool. So. so I think it's empowering for men and women, you know. Um, I think it's a great thing, you know, in my opinion. I think it's amazing and I would like to see more men get into pole dancing. In Bridgeport, I'm Charles Jefferson, reporting for the Columbia Chronicle.